Hey guys, this is Sidokobri from Sidokobri.com and today in this video I will show you five ways to use and profit from PLR video. Now this video is aimed at my Sunday Freebie members. So right now we are inside the Sunday Freebie members area and as a member you get access to some cool free PLR video series as you can see on the screen right now. Like this week, it's a seven part video series about Canva. So how to create almost any type of graphic design for free using, using a Canva. So if you're watching this video on YouTube or you're watching this video on my blog, make sure you join us at sundayfreebie.com so you can get access to all the free, uh, the free product here in the free membership area. So I decided to record this video mainly because every time I release a PLR video series, I always get a few emails from people kind of complaining that these videos are useless for them because I don't provide a squeeze page or a download page. And, you know, uh, that's kind of true. Well, not the useless part, of course, but it's true that the video don't come with a squeeze page or a download page like most other uh, products you will find in the free membership area. They all pretty much came with a download page and... Uh, a squeeze page and uh, the uh, graphic set but for me personally I think that the best kind of product that I can give you as a Sunday freebie member is I mean those video set because there are so many ways you can use and profit from them so in this video I will show you five example how I'm using the PLR video series in my own business so let's get started all right guys so the first way to profit from the unrestricted PLR video you get as a Sunday freebie members is YouTube and really, this is the easiest way. I mean, anyone can upload a video to YouTube and write a short description. Now, the example I will show you is a PLR video that I uploaded over three years ago. And I did nothing to this video except creating a thumbnail right here, okay? So I upload the video as is, with no modification. Of course, I could have put some more work into it. I could have created, let's say, an intro video or an outro video to make the, the video more unique. Okay, and this is a fourth part video series. Now we only see one video, but this is a fourth part video series. So I could have taken the four video and merged them together and create a bigger video, just one video, so a more unique with video. But hey, I went the lazy way and I just upload the video as is without any, any modification. Like I said, except the thumbnail right here. And so far the video got over 2200 views, so it's pretty good. But now I won't lie, I mean, some of the view came from uh, the second technique I will show you in this video. So I got the ball rolling with the second technique I will show you in this, in this video. But right now, let me just click here. So I'll show you some uh, some uh, some of the statistics that this video got so far. So right there, you got my title. So that's my description right there. So you just write a short description. And right there, as you see, get more tutorial at internetmarketingfornewbies.net or more tutorial at WordPress tutorial. Uh, 42 wordpress .net. so that's two of my my own site it's two low cost product so by just uploading this video to youtube i'm generating traffic to this two low cost offer now let me just scroll down a little bit so i'm using here tubebuddy so it's a free extension i will leave a link below this video if you want to grab tubebuddy so it's going to give you some result like like you see right there so that's my uh, keyword for this video okay so why slow introduction so i'm number one i rank number one with a PLR video. So if some people tell you it's impossible to rank uh, a video that you didn't create yourself on YouTube, well, it's a lie because you see the proof right there. So why slow introduction? I rank number one. Website speed test tool, I rank number 10. Why slow wiki, uh, number one. Page speed Chrome, well, I, I don't rank for this uh, keyword here. Why slow tutorial, and number three, and so on. So number four, number two, number two. I don't rank for this one. This one, I'm number two and number one, number one, number two. Let me just let me just go open um, an incognito window right here. So I'm on YouTube, but I'm like incognito. So we're just gonna search for this video. So why slow introduction? And let me just get. Oh, I didn't type that correctly. But anyway, see, I'm first. Here's a second video. This guy got seventeen thousand view. Like I said, I got 2,200 views so far. But see, I'm number one. Let me just go Y slow. So Y slow. See, I'm number two for Y slow. And the guy with 17,000 views, number one. So hey, I'm generating traffic with the PLR video. So it's pretty cool. 
So now let me just go back to Sunday freebie. Now this week freebie is a Canva training. So a lot of people search for how to create graphic with Canva or, or how to create a graphic with um, a free application. Okay, so you can go to YouTube. Let me just go back to YouTube. And you can search for, let's say, Canva free training. And see, oh, see this this girl here? She got 290,000 views two years ago. So it's going to be pretty pretty hard to rank uh, for this keyword. But I mean, there are so many keywords. I mean, let me just search something else. Uh, create infographic with canvas. So this one got 90,000 view. See this one just one year ago. So this one 600,000 view. I mean you can search for keyword, you know, create an e-cover, uh, free tool to create graphic. I mean there's all kind of keyword. Just look for some keyword and try to to rank for the, the PLR video you, you're going to put online, you're going to upload to YouTube. So that's the first technique. That's the first way to profit with your PLR video. And as you see in the video, uh, I mean, you can rank just by uploading a simple PLR video. Just make sure you create a, a cool thumbnail so people will be uh, enticed to, to click on your on your thumbnail. OK, so I hope you like this first way to um, to profit from the, the free PLR product you get at Sun, as a Sunday Freebie member. Stay tuned for the second way to profit from the PLR video. All right, guys. So the second way to profit from the unrestricted PLR video you get as a Sunday Freebie member, it's what I call the follow-up technique. Now, we'll be using the same video series that I showed you previously, and you will understand how I got the ball rolling for the video that got over 2200 views. Okay, now let's put you in context a little bit. So this is uh, Aweber, it's my autoresponder, and this is the second email that my new subscriber will receive after they opt in to this page right here. So it's a free training about all about WordPress, so they get a PDF, they get a video series. So when they opt in to this page, right after they go here to my confirmation page. So if you already watch my Sunday freebie training video, uh, you see that I pretty much always use this three page uh, to build my list. So my opt-in page, like a thank you page and a download page. So once they opt into this page, they go right here to my confirmation page or my thank you page. And my, my main goal it's to promote my 43 WordPress tutorial right here. Okay, so that's why I build this page. And at the same time, I tell them to watch for my email. So in the next five minutes, you will receive an email from Cedric Cobri because you want to teach your new your new subscriber uh, to go look for your email in their inbox. You know, because if nobody opens your email, there's just no point to build the list. Eh? So once they go to the to their inbox, they find my email. So they, they want the free PDF and they want the unadvertised, un, unadvertised bonus video. They just go here. They, they have a link and they just go to my uh, to my download page. So I build this download page. So there's a home page, a review blogging video. So that's the un, unadvertised bonus. And I will show you this is technique number three. So how to use a PLR video. So that's another way to use your PLR video. And I will show you that a little bit later. I also always build a bonus uh, section, a resource section. But you know, that's that's the download page. Okay, so I recommend some products so they can download uh, the PDF here, another PDF here, and I recommend a product. Okay, but but once it, it's done, you know, like the next day, since I have a new subscriber, the next day I will send them a follow up email. OK, so any good marketer will tell you you need at least 30 uh, follow up email in your autoresponder when someone opt into your list. So one email per day for a month. But hey, let's be honest here. It's pretty hard to come up with uh, 30 email, 30 follow up email. So normally I go with about 10. OK. But this is the second one, okay? So the first one they receive, of course, they receive the link to go to my download page. And the next day, I just put uh, this uh, this little email together. So it's a follow-up email. And quite honestly, it took me like, I don't know, maybe half an hour to put that together. I put the I write the email right here, and I will show you uh, the page where they will go right after. Because I give them, like I said, a four-part tutorial. So I give them free content on the second day. And you want to give a lot of free content uh, when the, a new subscriber opt into your list. Because this, these days, I mean, some marketer are just, uh, I mean, are just crazy. And they're sending promotion after promotion. 
so you want to be a little bit different and you want it to give free content to your new subscriber okay so that's what i like to do and of course you run your own business so you can do whatever you want but like i said i like to give some free content away so in the second day they receive this email and once they click this this link here to watch a free video series they will go right to this page here okay so once again i will use the plr video series that you saw in the first technique the youtube video i show you okay so i'm doing many things by sending them to this page right here first of all i'm branding my name because they're on my blog okay of course they, they can read more about me they can check my site okay and they also can subscribe to my youtube channel okay so that's a very good way to get some subscriber to your youtube channel okay and i have a little code right here okay i'm not sure if you can see that at the bottom but it said sub confirmation egal uh, number one so let me just we'll just copy this link here and show you so just copy this link let me just go again to my incognito right uh, window right here and i will just paste this link so that's a little trick to get some um some subscriber so you will see a little pop-up boom see so before they go to my channel they kind of have to subscribe or of course they can click cancel but many people would just click subscribe here so you get a new subscriber and even if they are not on youtube so that's a great way to get some new subscriber so to get this little code well just put your mouse and just look at the code at the, at the bottom of the page just go to my page it's wordpress dash speed training oh, let me just close this this thing here so that's another way to promote my my site so so like i said on the second day i'm sending them to this page here and i mean it's, it's just a simple page that i build on wordpress eh? so like i said boom they can subscribe to my channel and boom they have the the four video series right here so i create four different thumbnails so like i said in the first technique i create a cool thumbnail for this one and this video here got uh, 2200 view but i got the ball rolling because like i said i am sending a lot of traffic to this page here because it's, it's a good funnel for me okay so i'm sending a lot of traffic so on the second day they all receive this email and a bunch of them end up on this page here and they watch the video so let me just click here on this one here let me just click pause and i will go to youtube i'm gonna show you how many this i'm not sure how many this video got some views so far whether your site me whoops sorry let me just pause this video so see this video got 533 view okay so it's from uh, let's see if this video rank for something so once again i'm using tubebuddy here so you can search so see I, i'm not ranking for many keywords for this particular video but i'm number one for wordpress speed and portents so once again i have my link right here okay so that's another way to drive traffic to uh, to my low cost product so let's just go back to this page so like i said you know i'm I use a PLR video to create a follow-up uh, message because like I said it's pretty hard sometimes to come up with free content for your new subscriber so PLR video are perfect so I just create a simple page right here so like I said I bring them back to my site I'm branding myself uh, they can check all my site they can check uh, my resources they can go to my bonus and once again I have the little uh, YouTube code right here to uh, subscribe to my channel and they can be an affiliate too okay so let me just go back here and boom they can subscribe to my channel like i said so all those videos got some view and like i said it's just a fourth part plr video series eh? so i'm branding myself they can subscribe to my channel i'm giving them free content so you know it's like it's like the perfect video set uh, to give away to your uh, to your new subscriber so i hope you like this technique and stay there for technique number three where i'm gonna show you oh let me just go back here so and one day um, i'm using a um, drive architect on this uh, on this website sericobra.com it's a very cool plugin uh, where you can build uh, all kind of site and there's this cool little pop-up that uh, that pop up when people try to close the page so another way uh, to bring back uh, my visitor to my uh, low-cost product here where i make uh, some commission so that was it for this one uh, stay there for um, Technique number three, the third way to profit and use the PLR video you get as a Sunday Freebie member.
All right, guys, so the third way to profit from the unrestricted PLR video you get as a Sunday freebie member is to give them as a bonus to your current free offer. You want to give as much value as possible when someone gives you their email address and they uh, land on your uh, on your download page for the first time. So uh, PLR video or just video with giveaway right are perfect in this situation. So let me just go back to my squeeze page right here. So for years, when people opt into this page here, they went to my... Uh, to my download page right here and they used to download this PDF that I created and as a bonus I used to give this PDF away okay but now in, in 2010 it was pretty good in 2015 it was good but now it's 2019 and quite honestly people expect a little bit more than a PDF or two when they give you their email address so that's why I create this brand new section here where they can access uh, a video series about how to create a, a review blog so let me just click here so pretty much like the technique I showed you earlier, the follow-up technique, once again, I just create six thumbnails, and if they click the thumbnail right there, let me just pause this video, the video will start playing. So I give them six video, and once again, I have some recommendations. So it's just another page where I give value and where I have another chance to make some commission. Now, of course, you saw that the video play on my own server. It's not a YouTube video, so I, have, I uploaded those videos on my own server, but you know, quite honestly, it's probably a mistake. Uh, if I have to go back, I will probably upload them to YouTube and mark them as unlist and do the um, subscribe to my channel technique that I showed you earlier, which is not done on this page right now. But it's just another way to give more value when someone uh, opts into your page. Uh, if you just give a PDF away, well, just grab one of the PLR video series you get as a Sunday freebie member and just give more value to your new subscriber. So I hope you like this technique. This was the third way to profit from the PLR video uh, you get as a Sunday freebie member. Stay there for technique number four. All right, guys, this is the fourth way to profit from the PLR video you get as a Sunday freebie members is by building your own squeeze page and your own download page. Now I own many page builder. So the one I will show you in this video is called Tribe Architect. That's the one I'm using pretty, pretty much all the time right now. So I will leave a link for Tribe Architect below this YouTube video. Or if you're watching this video on my blog, I will leave a link uh, on this post. Now there's many other page builder out there. So if you already own one, well, just use it. Okay. Now among internet marketer, some popular one are Optimized Press. It's very popular. Uh, Instant Builder, Profit Builder, uh, Click Funnel is very popular, but it's kind of very expensive too. It's $97. Uh, Lead Page is popular. It's $27 per month. But I mean, with Tribe Architect, I mean, you can build pretty much anything you want. So among uh, WordPress fanatics like me, uh, Tribe Architect is very popular, but DV Builder is very, very popular. Uh, the Beaver Builder, um, like I said, there are so many of them. But in this case, we're going to use a Tribe Architect. And if you don't know a page builder or you just simply don't have any budget to get one, um, I will also show you how to take another uh, squeeze page from another product and just modify this uh, template uh, to promote, uh, let's say, uh, this uh, PLR video series right here. So let's get started. So let me just go to, uh, so that's my blog, serocobra.com. So to speed up the process a little bit, I already create a page. So I just call this page graphic, graphic tool. So it's just a test for, for you guys to see. And the next step I did is I just, um, in a template here, I just put blank page, okay? And I already published this page. So right now, if I go to the page, let me just open this link in the new tab right here. So the page is blank, okay? So I will just click here, edit with Tribe Architect. So we'll click on this one here. And now I will click the little gear button at the top here. So we'll choose a template to work with. So if you're hearing like a little sound behind me, uh, I think it's the fan on my laptop. It's kind of going crazy right now. So let me just click the gear, uh, the gear button at the top, and I will just go here, template setup. So with Tribe Architect, you have all kind of template you can work with. So choose landing page template. So we'll click here, and now, like I said, there's all kind of template you can work with. Okay. So to speed up the process, let's just take this one here. Okay. And now you have a lead generation page. Okay. You have a two-step uh, lead generation page here, so it's pretty cool. You have um, a thank you page, a download page, a, whenever, a webinar page, 
another webinar, another webinar, a sale copy. So they, they all kind of have, have the same feeling to it. So, I mean, you can choose three of them. So if you watch uh, Technique 2 and 3, I pretty much always use a three-step page uh, to build my funnel. So a squeeze page, a uh, thank you page, a kind of confirmation page, and a download page. So let me just click here, this one here. I'm going to click Choose Template. And we're going to edit this template together. And I will show you how easy it is uh, to build a squeeze page with Drive Architect. Now, of course, it takes a few seconds for the template to load the first time. So here's the template. So here's my form. Okay. Now I already prepare. Let me just go to Notepad right here. And I will just copy my, my new text right here. So I will just go this way. Okay, so now it's a little bit big, so in the text option right here, so I can bring the text kind of smaller, okay? So let's say that's correct. Of course, I'm doing this kind of kind of fast because I don't want this video to, um, to be like an hour long. Okay, download the seven part video here at no cost. Now, of course, you can come up with a better headline and a better sub-headline. Like I said, I just try to do um, this a little bit um, fast. So now, next step, I will click this little box here. Okay, lead generation. Now, connect form to service. So it's super easy. Now, you see I already have Aweber Connect. Okay, so I will click Aweber right here. And now... I can just choose one of my lists, so it's super easy to do. I mean, the only thing you have to do prior to this video, what I did not do, is I should have go to Aweber and create a new list uh, for the Canvas training that I will that I will promote. Okay, but it's just a test, so let me just pick a pick a list. So I will just pick this one here. Um, I won't put, I won't put any tag, okay, and I will just go continue. So email, it's required, so I can add a new field but I won't okay so next normally I, I take the name and the email but I mean just for the purpose of this video I'll just leave leave it like that so we'll go next okay now after uh, what action it's gonna happen after the uh, the click this button so I want to redirect to a customer URL so you can reload the page so that's pretty cool but you know in some cases in some cases pretty cool but for this scenario I will just click here redirect to custom URL and I will enter my URL here. But now, of course, I didn't build the, the the thank you page or download page so far. So let me just let me just go to um, to Google.com. Okay, Google.com, and I will click save. So now I'm all done. You know, my squeeze page is done. Of course, I can customize this this part here. You know, I can put 2019 and uh, silicobre.com. Com. and of course I can put my disclaimer link and all the the stuff here but I mean you, you get the point so next step I will just click save and now I can click here more option and I can preview the page so preview the page so here's my squeeze page now of course this is a very uh, simple template like I said there's all kind of template okay now the next step I will go back here, okay. I will um, I will create a new page. So add new. And I will give a title to this page. So let's say uh, download Canva. Oops, sorry. Sometimes I try to write too fast. So download Canva. There you go. So next step I will do is I will just scroll down I will go to tem uh, template here blank page publish now once again it's gonna be a blank page and once again I will choose another template uh, to create the kind of confirmation page now I won't build all the page but I mean I just I just want to build a few so you get the idea so now this one here it's built so that's my uh, squeeze page okay now let me just open this one in a new tab so once again it's blank when I, once again I will click here edit with Drive Architect 
and I will try to find like the same template as this one. Now normally I build three page, a squeeze page, a kind of confirmation page and a download page. So I call this one download Canva but it's gonna be like my confirmation page. So once again I will click the little gear, template setup, choose landing page. So I'm going faster now because I already did one. So I'm just gonna go back, go back to Atomic and I will click this one here, uh, confirmation page. So let's choose this one. Okay, now let me just go here. So I'm gonna grab some text from here so it's gonna be faster. Okay, so that's one of my um, kind of confirmation page. I'll already show you this one. Okay, let me just go back here. So once again, it's take a little bit of time. Okay. Now let me just... Okay, welcome, you're in. Okay, you're in, welcome. Anyway. Doesn't matter. Welcome, you're in. Let me just paste some 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 more text right here. So, okay, that looked kind of funny. Now let me just grab all this text. Uh, that's what happened when you do that lie. So let me just go boom here, and let me just put this text a little bit smaller. Okay, right here, and now we'll go because I don't like this base I have like here so I got layout and position now maybe I can grab this text uh, let me see no, inside okay I go down okay let me see anyway it's no big deal but of course I can I can fix that let me just let me just go I like that and let's bring this one here there you go so you always go layout and position if you want to like be closer so welcome you're in boom 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 so now step one of course I can customize everything or I can just get rid of those box but let's let's keep everything like that so check your email inbox uh, open the confirmation email while well, I don't have a confirmation email so let's just get rid of everything let me just get rid of that. let me just click here boom 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 and boom well, I should have keeps this. Uh, let me just go back. Undo, and I will keep this box here. Let me just go back here. So after that, I, let's say I can put a special offer. So let me just uh, let me just go here. I'm gonna delete this part here. I'm gonna delete this part here. I'm gonna de delete this part here. And now I can go here. Let's send images. I'm gonna drop my images right in the box here. And now I can check in my library. So let me find uh, something. Let me find something. Okay, let's take anything. Let's take this one here. So that's my convert commission banner. So, if you're not a Convert Commission member, it's a pretty cool uh, system. I made a video, I think it was last week, because I woke up with, I think it was $139 in commission, just from using this free system. So, it's owned by one of my good friends, Cindy Donovan. So, now I just put, like I said, a banner right here. And, of course, you can customize the page. Okay, welcome, you're in. I can make a special offer, like I show you previously in my other funnel. But, you know, I don't want to spend 15 minutes working on this page. So once again, I'm going to save this page here, save the page. So that's my um, my thank you page or my confirmation page. And the next step I have to do is I have to create a download page. Okay, let me just go here and I'm going to preview the page. So I have my squeeze page. Right now I have a confirmation page. So right here. Of course, I didn't put a link. I should have put a link. Let me just put a link for you guys. Let me just put the link. So we'll go to um, image option. And I will go image link. So let me just type something here. I don't know my affiliate link for this product. So let me just put Google and I'll go save. 
and I put opening in new tab so let me just refresh or reload and boom now I have a link so I go to Google boom Google so so it could be Google though anyway okay now the next step I want to do is I want to create um, my download page so where people are gonna go uh, to download the canvas training so let me just go back and once again I'm gonna, I'm gonna create a new page so of course like I said I'm doing this quickly but I mean it's super easy to create a funnel with the uh, driver Kitex. so let's see here uh, let's say uh, thank you download uh, downloads canvas training okay it's pretty long but anyway so once again I will just scroll down I will just go blank page and I will publish this blank page now I'm gonna choose another uh, another template something that's more like with some video that I can put on so once again view page online I'm just gonna delete this one for now and once again I will go exit with Tribe Architect the little gear option at the top okay the little gear option template setup choose landing page I'm gonna filter by page let me just go um, download so that's all download page okay, let me find something with um, some video but of course normally I don't work with template just create everything from scratch so I'm not used with the template so let me just choose this one anyway I can customize everything so it's no big deal okay now I want to create a download page so for this product here so well I didn't download the product so let me just go to um, to YouTube and I just grab uh, I'm just gonna grab one a URL so let me just grab this URL right here so that's a convert commission review that's the product banner I put so I did a few review about convert commission so just watch them on my YouTube channel if you have time so let me just go back here so welcome to the welcome to the Welcome to the training area. Let me just go a little bit smaller so it's gonna fit in one line. Of course I can change the text here. Now let me scroll down here. So it's pretty cool. So you can put like um well let me delete everything from here. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how I do it. So content box, let me just grab an images right here. So I'm gonna go images now let's say I'm gonna click I'm gonna click this one here so insert into into the post so that's my thumbnail of my video okay now I'll just click again on it image link I will go boom I put my uh, my YouTube URL um, and I can open the link in the new window but that's not that's not what I want to do let me just go to animation okay I already have my link let me just click here it's gonna be pop-up um, on click it's gonna be open video select source it's gonna be YouTube URL boom okay so it's gonna be better this this way autoplay while well, video don't really autoplay anymore I control I don't want to hide anything okay I'm just gonna click apply apply 
So boom, they named the video I just put there. So of course it's not the right video, I should have put the canvas training, but it's gonna be so long if I start downloading the video and uploading them to YouTube. I mean, you know how to upload a video to YouTube. You just download the canvas training, you upload the video to YouTube, you put the video on list, you take the URL, boom. You create a thumbnail, boom. And now let me just click apply. Okay, yeah, multiple, okay, now let me just go back because I have an error somewhere, so link and on click, so let me just, boom, remove this one, now we'll go, just go save, now of course I can put a lot of video and, and take like 10 minutes to show you everything, but I mean once you put one, I mean, let me just, let me just show you a little trick here, let me just click here, now I can duplicate everything, so copy, boom, see, I have another one, okay, but I don't have the space, so I mean, I will edit every every one of them, but I can probably put some space in between the box. So content box option. Okay, that's the maximum. Anyway, you get the point. Let me just erase this one here. So you get the point. So I'm gonna continue and put another thumbnail here. So let me just erase this this box. Let me just, once again, I'm just going to click duplicate for this one here. I'm going to take it and just kind of try to drag, drag it in the middle. So Sometimes it's kind of hard. There we go. Boom. So we see, boom, boom. And you just continue like that. You just do another one real quick. So it's just going to duplicate this one again. I'm just going to take it from the middle here. I'm just going to drag it. Boom, right in the middle of the box. See, boom, I just did another one. So that's how you build um, your download page. So let me just save this page. And now we can preview uh, the page. And boom, right. So the page is right here. So now I see that I have two, two like um, vertical sidebar here, so that's not very good. So maybe this template is not that good. But anyway, you get the idea. Now let me show you how to um, how to build one. If you don't own a page builder, like I show you with the page builder, it's so easy. Uh, I think Thrive Architect it's like sixty-seven dollar. But I mean, it's a super good investment if you want to build a mini page. But let's say you don't have any budget, you don't want to spend money on page builder, and you just want to do it the old way. So I'm going to open Composer. So Composer is free. But I will tell you honestly, um, working with Composer and with an uh, HTML editor, it's kind of update now. But uh, anyway, we're going to do it anyway. So let me just go back to a Sunday freebie. Okay. Now, the squeeze page we're going to use, uh, already select one, I think it's a little bit further, I think it's on page 8, so let me just go page 7 for now, and I'm going to go page 8, because I already download this one, so page 8, and the one I download, it's called, let's be consistent here, so it's called the easy way to profit from pro, uh, private label right material, so so this product was released on February 24, 2018. So if you want to look for it and if you want to work with the template, I'm going to show you. But it's a template. It's kind of hard to work with template inside Composer. Like I said, it's so outdated right now. Uh, I used to work with Composer a lot, but now I'm uh, a little bit rusty, if I can say so. So let's see if I can pull this off live on this video. So I will just go open. Like I said, I already downloaded the file. So let me just go desktop. And the file is called Easy Profit Material. So I'll just go click, 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 uh, squeeze page, and I will open the index file. So the index file is right here. So as you can see, we have a header right here, and we have the e cover, and we already have a form, so it's pretty cool. And we have a footer. Now, of course, uh, we don't need the header and footer because we're trying to, uh, to build a squeeze page for. Uh, a different product so let me just change the text here so free video series okay 
and I'm gonna go to notepad and I, I'm gonna take back my super headline right here and let me just paste my headline right here so forget paying for expensive designer design any kind of graphic in second with this free tool uh, let me get rid of this I don't really need that and I already um, well I'm not there anymore but already download the cover the canvas training cover that you saw earlier so let me just fire up file zeta so file zeta is already fired up I'm already on my domain sedocobri.com so let me just go to public html and I will create a new directory because I have to upload everything that's the old way of doing this kind of stuff so let me just write something here so that's a new directory that I create so when people is gonna go to sittercobra.com forward slash canvas training and everything is gonna be in this directory so this directory I just create the directory so it's right here I'm just gonna double click on it and let me just grab my first images I'm just gonna upload this video and here's a little trick I'm just gonna click on it I'm gonna just gonna go let me click that again double click on it I'll just go copy and I'll just copy this at the top here let me just that's just like a quick way to get my URL so I know that my URL is gonna be sericobra.com canvas training and this little part here for the images so let me just delete this part here boom I go back I go back to composer let me just put this images right here so I'll go images and I will delete everything and put my URL which is cedricobri.com and the, the part I just paste from the server so boom you see my images right here so I can go BAM now the images look kind of big let me just go back to images I'm gonna go dimension I'm gonna go uh, custom size and let's just put let's say 250 I'm gonna keep cost constraint so the image is gonna keep looking good here we go okay uh, let me see if I can edit something else enter your name and email below to get access to your free let me say tutorial tutorial and now I have my squeeze page so our readers page will not be available now, of course I will delete just boom delete and let me just see this part here let's see so the cobra.com and of course I will put my disclaimer link and uh, my my legal stuff right here but just for the purpose of this video we're gonna go faster so now I have I need to put my form in there okay so the best way to do it is go source and I'm not sure what kind of form it is so that's an Aweber form so it's pretty easy for me to edit this form so if you have another kind of responder autoresponder well you will go here and you will delete everything and you will put your new form right here so for me in my case since I'm, a, I'm an Aweber user uh, it's gonna be super easy to edit this form so you just have to read the code so your Aweber autoresponder form details below let me just read that quickly so this is life eh? so uh, okay okay so okay that's the end of my code so the code begin right here okay the value now, let me just go to Aweber okay I already create a form well it's one of my old forms so uh, you just go to a uh, sign up form if you already create a form if you're not well you're gonna start from the beginning but like my form it's already created so I'm just gonna go publish and it's gonna give me a like a bunch of code so I will install my form okay and there's another way to use um, to build the squeeze page without needing a, a website or a hosting account I already did a video about it but it's not a new tool I mean it's an old video I think I'll upload this video to um, the VRL network which is a social video network 
a few years ago but that's a cool trick maybe I'm gonna do another video uh, to show you all these this Aweber feature work but for now we'll just click here we'll install my form okay now they give me a JavaScript snippet but me I want the raw HTML version now they give you all kind of code the code because it's uh, it's include beautiful form style but I don't need all that so I'm just gonna click here and boom now that's that's my raw, raw form okay so that's my web form ID the most important part in a web form is the your web form ID the value your list name and the redirect so let me just go back to um, to composer so as you can see right here meta form ID value so I can have I need to put my value right here so let me just go back here so web form ID value I'm gonna grab these number right here copy go back paste next input value your Aweber list name so let me just go back to Aweber so list name it's called a w list with a bunch of number let me just copy this again just go back and I'm gonna copy just gonna replace this part here boom now next it's my um, it's my redirect URL so once people uh, subscribe uh, to uh, the page we're building right now where they're gonna go after they submit the form so I want to send them to our confirmation page well of course now the page it's not built so let me just put a dummy URL right here but of course normally my page if my page will if I will have built a page uh, the URL will be sedocobri.com forward slash uh, canvas training let's say forward slash uh, download or confirmation or anything you want so let me just do google.com for now okay that's why when normally I'm building a system I normally start with the last page so I start with my uh, download page after that I build the confirmation page and I finish with the squeeze page so it's easier to build the system this way because you already have your URL so which it's not the case right now so let me just go back to preview so boom you see so I'm done so that's that's my page so I will just go file save as let's just give a name free training okay and I'm gonna click OK now I'm gonna save this page as uh, let's say index one index one save now let me just go back here I'm gonna go so that's the server let me just refresh everything now let me just go to let me try to find this, uh, this folder so it's right here so let me just go squeeze page uh, the index ones as okay let me see that again file save as I want to save this as index one dot HTML so sorry about that index one dot HTML so save now let me just go back here just gonna refresh I'm just gonna delete this this one here it was a mistake so let me just go index one upload because I don't want to um, like change the main template I have here with index no I'm just gonna change the URL on the server it's gonna be easier let me just delete this part here index so now I'm gonna go to circle brick canva training so as you can see I mean you can take um, the squeeze page from another product and just create a brand new one but like you saw it's, it's a little bit easier when you have uh, okay now of course the page look kind of strange because I didn't upload uh, the style let me just upload the style and the rest of the image so I'm gonna have a background and everything that's what happened when you do live video so let me just refresh and boom see now I just build a new squeeze page from an exact from uh, from another template from the template of another product so let's continue now so I'm gonna keep the same template so everything is done here so I'm gonna just try to uh, to get rid of this form here boom and boom and, uh, let me see uh, let me try to erase everything anyway there we go that's what I want okay now we're gonna build uh, a confirmation page no we're gonna do that real real quick so let me just copy some text again now normally when you copy some text from um, 
like a website to another. I like to go to Notepad first because sometimes it's kind of leaving some some strange some strange text when you paste something in Composer. So so you're in. Welcome. So let me just write something else. Let me just grab everything from here. So let me just grab everything like that. Boom. And I'm gonna paste them directly. So we'll see what happens there. So boom. Okay, boom, okay. Okay, they don't like my images. So that's what happened now with Composer. It's so old. You have a hard time to put some uh, some stuff in there. All the best. Let's just put my name instead of my picture. Okay. And let me just put the text. Uh, I really like does this right now as a font, but I don't think there's... No, it's not here. Okay, let me just take another font. Let's just go something familiar like Tahoma. So, boom. See, now you just build a confirmation page now, of course. I mean, you just spend a little bit more time. Let me just erase this this image right here. And now I can make an offer. Let, let, let's do that. Let me just go here, boom, I'm gonna go middle of the page, I'm gonna go, um, let me just grab this URL here, copy image address, and I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go images, and I'm gonna go image location, right here, okay, boom, you can accept it, okay, let me just take out the, here we go, boom, i see. I just put a banner. Now let me link this banner. I'm gonna go link. Let me just grab the link from here. Uh, copy link address. Go back to Composer and boom! I'm gonna paste that here. There we go. Now I just built um, a kind of confirmation page. So I want them to go uh, check their email because inside their email there's gonna be the link to download all the video from the Canvas training. Now for the other page, for the download page, I suggest that you use a blank page if you're using composer because when you you're gonna try to embed the youtube video inside this template it will probably screw the template so let's do that real quick so i'm just gonna go boom of course i should have saved this page and upload this page to show you but anyway you get the point so let me just go uh blank new i'm gonna go in the middle here and i'm gonna go uh, thanks for requesting my free training okay now let's put this text let's see uh, a little bit bigger because it's kind of small so i can go like adding boom okay now let me just go now i can go uh, let's say i want to insert my uh, some youtube video sorry uh, let me go to table uh, insert insert table we're gonna try to create a table uh, let's see um, a table like this one here so next I will go in the middle right here I'm gonna put some XXXXX I'm gonna go here I'm gonna go boom middle XXXXX now let me just go to YouTube I'm gonna try to grab uh, the embed code from a video now embed well, that's probably too big uh, I'm not sure let's see 300 by, I don't know, 250, whoops, oh, let me just go back, give me a second here, I'm going to go embed, show me the embed code, where is the embed code, okay, I don't have the embed code anymore, okay, let me just refresh this whole video, Cedric I just, from Cedric Okay, sorry about that. I just lost the embed code, so let me just go share. Hopefully, they're gonna give me the code right now. So embed. Okay, now I have the code. So I won't change anything to the code. So I don't wanna screw up this thing again. So let me just go here. Now that's my X. Let me just go to uh, source, and I will paste my my video right here. Boom. And let's try to do another one. 
because sometimes the video are like too big yeah. boom so let's go preview see now you have your video now of course on composer they won't show up it's the, the only one to show up when you upload the page so let me just save this page of course you can continue and add some stuff uh, I mean you upload the video to YouTube you download the canvas training you upload the video to YouTube you put them on this you take your URL and you just put them right here of course you can create a thumbnail if you want and just make the link open in a new window and they go to YouTube directly or you just make them play on your on your download page so let me just click save download uh, area okay and I'm gonna click save now let me just go back here I gotta and I'm gonna go download area let me just copy this again so here we got we got the um, the squeeze page and now we have our download page see boom now of course you can continue of course I can put the let me just do that real quick I can just click here and do um, uh, table select select the table after that I'm gonna go table property so let me just erase all the border boom and then I, I got to align everything center apply apply okay let me just say save, save everything save as boom save as now let me just go back to files it out just gonna refresh everything and I'm gonna re-upload this page here so you're gonna see like the table is gonna look better see now the gray now it's gonna disappear boom see so look better now of course you continue and you put the the other video and boom you build a download page so even that uh, those PLR video doesn't come with, doesn't come with a squeeze page or a download page I mean just use your imagination just go um, download another product and just try to customize um, the squeeze page the download page and uh, the confirmation page if like me you're using the three-step page funnel so I hope you enjoy uh, this fourth way uh, to use the PLR video from Sunday freebie so see you in the next one alright guys this is the fifth and final way to use your unrestricted PLR video you get as a free member at sundayfreebie.com now what you are looking at right now is my brand new YouTube training area which I built just about a month ago uh, it's still a work in progress I'm still testing a few things here and there but it's live as we speak of course if you're watching this video a month uh, in a month or in a year uh, maybe the page will have changed a little bit okay so on this page you can see uh, I still have my silvercobra.com so if they click here they will go to my blog and I have a training area and every uh, video that I have on this page you get them as a free member at sundayfreebie.com okay so now with that said uh, you can use a page like this one pretty much with every technique I've showed you earlier so you can use it as a follow-up message so you just write a message and you send your new subscriber uh, via your autoresponder to a page like this one uh, to provide more value to your new subscriber or of course you can use it like I show you in technique number three so to, um, to give more value to your current free offer so you can build a page like this one and just send your uh, subscriber uh, to this page via your download link okay and of course you can also just build a squeeze page on top of this page and like here like I already built a squeeze page on top of this page so people subscribe to this page after that they go to my confirmation page I already show you and this page a few times uh, I always use the same three page I mean my squeeze page I have a confirmation page or a thank you page or a middle page whatever you want to call this page so this page is just to tell them that I just sent them an email and to look for it and I also make an offer so now on this page here I'm just trying to blend the offer right inside the page so I thank you for your interest please check your inbox to get access to the YouTube training area uh, the email should be there waiting for you but if it's not it's worth checking your spam folder just in case it's in there you never know so after that I make an offer so wait, wait read this page uh, uh, sorry read this before you go any further so something special just for you to get ahead so imagine ranking your video at the top of YouTube so this this offer it's really really related to the um, to my squeeze page you know I give them it's all about YouTube so I make an offer right away 
uh, about a YouTube course from a good friend of, my, of mine. Uh, his name is called Chris Derbinger, and uh, the course here is called YouTube Supremacy. Uh, Chris is, uh, I mean, he's killing it on YouTube. He pretty much always rank his video at the top, and the course that um, I'm trying to sell right here, it's $12.95. And it's a real good investment. I learned so much from this course. So that's my first promotion. So you always want to promote something that you believe in, of course. So and like this is a perfect offer for uh, for my squeeze page here. Okay. So my squeeze page, like I said, my thank you page, confirmation page, uh, like I said, whatever you want to call this page. And after that, boom, they go to the uh, the training area. So the download page. But I did not mention download area because I want to use this page for um, pretty much everything I, uh, I teach you so far. So I want to use this page, uh, let's say, to send some of my current subscriber to this page to, the, uh, to get some uh, free training. Okay. And I also want to use this page, um, well, to build my list. Okay. So it's pretty generic right there. So I don't say hello and welcome or thanks for re requesting uh, my video. Here's your download page. So I... I see pretty formal, so the page work for uh, for, for for pretty much uh, all my visitor. Okay, so hello and welcome to your free uh, YouTube training area. So I will put a link to this page uh, below this video or on my blog, so you can uh, look at it. So now here I just write a, a few sentences, uh, my name, and once again I have my. Um, if you watched the video earlier and you remember. Right here, I have my uh, my little button to so they can subscribe to my YouTube channel. But on this one, I, I made a little bit. Uh, I made something a little bit special. So uh, I write here: Why not follow each other on YouTube? You may subscribe to my channel here, and I just think for you. Just contact me. So I try to uh, to make contact with my new uh, subscriber. Okay. So now let's go back down the page. So I put like a little resume of every uh, video series. And like I said, you are, you you are already have access to all these video inside your Sunday freebie uh, members area. Even if you're just a free member, you get access to all these video. So, so I did once again the same strategy. Okay, I create some thumbnail. Okay, and all these video right now are on YouTube, but they are on list, so I don't really try to rank for them. They are just on list, so it's kind of just using YouTube as my hosting video platform. So you know, it's free, so I just take advantage of uh, YouTube. So if they click here, boom. Now they have the video. So once again, they can subscribe to me via the, let's say, the, when the video is going to start. Welcome to this video series. So I just paused this video, but normally you will see my, uh, my subscribe button appear right here. So you can subscribe to my channel from the video itself. Okay, so let me just scroll down the page and I put a, a little a resource section right uh, in the middle of each video series so i'm recommending some product so tube rank machine from anchor um school is name um, i own this product it's a pretty cool product so i'm promoting this product uh, via this resource uh, kind of page here okay tube rss extremes that's another product from one of my friends and thumbnail blaster uh, to create some very nice uh, thumbnails so that's a product that can run thing uh, really really well so I'm making three offer on the same page. So if they scroll down, boom, they see another set of videos. So once again, I create some more thumbnail. So it's pretty long to create a page like this one because you need to create a few thumbnail and you need to upload every video for YouTube. But remember that when you build something, you know, it's four years to come. Okay, so once again, if I click the video, boom, I have the video open in the, um, in the like box right here, okay? And I'm doing this with uh, Thrive Architect. I already mentioned Thrive Architect uh, in technique number four. Okay, so it's a great uh, plugin to build any kind of page, and it's come with a lot of template. But this one is not a template, you know, I built this one from scratch. So here we go, so more, more resource. And I put some more video, and that's it. So like I said, it's a work in progress. If you're watching this video uh, in a few months, maybe the page will have changed a little bit. Right now, I'm just testing the page, how the page is converting uh, with some free traffic. And once I have some more data, uh, I will probably uh, pay for some uh, to get some uh, some paid traffic to this page right here.
Okay, so I hope you uh, you learned something from uh, this video, uh, from the five way to use the PLR video in your own business. If you have any question, well, just let me know by commenting on the blog or commenting on YouTube if you're on YouTube, or just contact me uh, via email. So once again, my name is Cyril Cobre. Uh, talk to you soon.